Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC, and I got a chance to drive my Schumacher Cat L1R four-wheel drive, one-ten scale electric race buggy at my local track, and just want to share my thoughts as well as some running footage. So uh, this just came out. I built it, finally painted up the body, and a little bit of a new paint scheme, this orange and uh, gunmetal gray. I do like the body a lot better than the old one, much more stylish. And uh, yeah, so first off, um, if you're interested in Schumacher Racing products, definitely check out DiscountRCStore.com. Uh, they are the largest sale of Schumacher parts in the U.S., so whatever you want, they are much more likely to carry that. They do have these in stocks. So if you want to pick one of these up, I do recommend checking them out. They got pretty much everything that you could want and do have uh, very fast shipping. I think it's free over 49 bucks as well. So definitely the best place to pick up Schumacher racing parts. Uh, I think it, it is harder to get Schumacher parts. A lot of stores don't carry them anymore. So that would be the best place. In terms of the vehicle itself, I'm running a Savix 1258TG Servo. Might switch this out. It's a little bit... Uh, you know, dated, I guess, a titanium geared, but a little bit less torque than some of the other servers nowadays. Uh, running a stock spec Hobbywing V3.1 ESC, uh, Trinity Punisher motor. Uh, so these are the same electronics I ran in my Cat L1 Evo and then a Gen's A6000 milliamp error. Uh, full-size shorty uh, pack there. I did try some other packs as well. I think I'm going to stick to the full-size shorty. It does uh, definitely seem to make the car a little bit easier to drive as well as obviously providing more punch and longer run time with that higher capacity uh, battery. Now the vehicle itself, I am running kind of a combination between the stock setup and the kit carpet setup that they recommend. I don't have all the parts to run the carpet setup, so I'm just running kind of a mix of the two. Uh, so my setup is definitely uh, not perfect yet. Uh, working on that as well. I did try out some different tires, so I am running the white staggers up front and the cactus in the rear. I did try the cactus fusion up front, but just felt I had a little too much bite. Um, also running the 7-0 uh, millimeter offset so the stock hubs as well not running the wide offset or anything like that I did find it drive a little bit more uh easy or neutral uh with that change so uh the vehicle yeah it is a huge improvement over the cat l1 evo i do have one of those uh bought one when it first came out three years ago this is a huge improvement if you have a cat l1 evo and you're wondering if this makes a difference yes this is much better than the Cat L1 Evo. Even though I don't have the setup quite right, I can definitely tell it is much more balanced, uh, more steering, more corner speed, just better all the way around. Feels way lighter as well. So they nailed it, I think, on this particular vehicle. Um, the old one, it was fine. I didn't feel like it was as competitive as the other four-wheel drive buggies out there. I also have the B74.2. I also have the 22X4. Had X-Ray XB4 uh, 21 edition. So uh, very familiar with pretty much all the uh, four-wheel drive buggies out there. I had a, a Techno EB410. So this is, in my opinion, yeah, definitely uh, up to par with the other ones, if not better. We'll see. Uh, these are just my initial impressions. Uh, did have some issues. I did have a couple screws back out, so definitely locked all your metal and metal screws uh, check your steering rag periodically uh, those definitely uh, you know can loosen on themselves because they're turning so much on the ball bearings I did break a couple arms as well so I broke the stock arm uh, the track I was running at they have this really long wall ride it's probably about 20 feet and then it ends in like a 90 degree right hand turn and if you miss that you smash into the wall it's pretty tough honestly um, so I did have some issues with that I haven't driven on the track in a while and definitely not this layout so uh, it did take me a little while to get used to that and did smash the wall a couple times break a couple arms I did swap, uh, swap on the cat L1 Evo arm. I think the geometry is the same, hopefully. Um, it's even about the same, uh, but even that one I broke. So definitely stock up on front arms, especially if you have walls or poles or anything like that uh, within your local track. Um, that was about it in terms of breakages. Vehicle itself, yeah, like I mentioned, uh, Chassis feels way better. I think they nailed it on the stiffness, the flex, whatever you want to call it. Uh, seems very, very balanced front to rear. A lot more corner speed, a lot more steering. Uh, I did not have too many issues with traction roll as much. So uh, if you are, you know, obviously you can trim the tires and stuff. But I didn't really do any of that uh, tire modification, just running just completely stock tires. And then, uh, yeah, it just drives well. Definitely a lot of drag on the uh, drivetrain. Uh, that's pretty typical with the belt drive. Uh, systems but the car I think is more competitive in the stock spec class than the old one it does feel a lot lighter I don't know if it actually is much lighter but it feels a lot lighter I suspect it is because they did trim down some of the parts uh, including these upper chassis braces the rear chassis a lot of the parts feel just lighter overall you know lighter uh, 
side rails and stuff like that so uh vehicle yeah it drives well um so i'll share some footage now you can see it running obviously definitely not my best performance uh not used to the track haven't driven in a long time obviously not used to the car and still working on setup definitely the first few packs i was just you know trying to get the slipper set right the belt tension right the fab set right the gearing um the right tires all that stuff right high just kind of get a baseline setting to get the car to drive the way I liked it. And by the end, it was driving pretty much how I like it. Uh, I think the shocks probably still need to do a little bit of tuning. They seem a little slow to me with that thicker oil and the full-size pistons, but we'll have to see. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out this running footage. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.